vaccination. In a response to a tweet by Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee slamming liberals for planning to protest President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration on the National Mall, CBS talk show host Aisha Tyler claimed Sunday that after the election of President Barack Obama in 2008, Tea Partiers flooded D.C., pledged to assassinate Obama and burned him in effigy on the mall. Way to leave aside the fact that the Tea Party did not even spring into existence until after Obama's first inaugural address in 2009. The catalyst for what would become known as the Tea Party movement came on February 19, 2009, when Rick Santelli, a commentator on the business news network CNBC, referenced the Boston Tea Party, 1773, in his response to President Barack Obama's mortgage relief plan according to Encyclopedia Britannica. Apparently, fake news aficionado Aisha Tyler does not own an encyclopedia. Or a computer with internet access. Go figure. During his rant heard around the world, Santelli reportedly proposed a Chicago Tea Party to protest government intervention in the housing market, as noted by Britannica. You can hear his original comments here. Within two months of that ferocious cry for liberty, Tea Party protests began to break out all across the country, according to Fox News. However, the protests were not aimed at Obama but rather at his policies of big government intervention and spending. As Fox News noted at the time, the demonstrations were part of a larger grassroots movement against government spending called Taxed Enough Already, or T, giving name to the tax state Tea Parties and come more than 235 years after the original Boston Tea Party revolt against taxes. These protests were therefore nothing like the protests occurring in the present day over the election of Trump, which was the point Gov. Huckabee tried to make in the tweet that inspired Tyler's ignorant, or dishonest, rant. This is not to say that some Tea Party protesters did not act like fools. But as has been pointed out by Briet Bart, there may have been events here and there where effigies were burned and mean or even racist signs were seen, but such actions at Tea Party events were largely the exception. Whereas with contemporary liberals, acting like petulant babies and issuing death threats has become a frightful norm. See the difference? If not, you might be a liberal in desperate need of an encyclopedia, and a brain. Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about the fake news a CBS talk show host tried to peddle on Twitter. What do you think about this fake news? Scroll down to comment below. The video link for the video is in the article below in our description.